One of the most useful features of any map is being able to share information about a location. And to do this, you'll need to know how to give a grid reference. It's really quite straightforward. There are numbers on every Ordnance Survey map that run from left to right and from the bottom to the top along the sides. The ones going left to right from west to east are called eastings. The ones going up the sides are called northings. It doesn't really matter what they're called. What does matter is you always start by looking at the ones along the bottom. And what we're going to create here is called a grid reference. We'll start with a four-figure grid reference. I move from left to right, as though I were reading, and I know where I am. I'm here, and I'm in box 8-5. I then move up the side, and I'm in box 4-1. I am in 8-5-4-1. That's still a big area, though, so I want to give rather more detail, and to do that, I give a, a six-figure grid reference. I have to imagine that box is divided into ten. There are no lines to show me that. I have to use my imagination. So, eight, five, five, six, seven, eight, I'd say. Eight, five, eight, four, one, six. Four, one, six. Eight, five, eight, four, one, six. Now, that's a very accurate grid reference, and I can share that with a friend telling them about a feature that I want them to visit, or if I get into trouble, perhaps damage an ankle, I can give that to the emergency services and they'd be able to find me really quickly. There's just one more little bit of information I might want to add to that, and that is where I am on the national grid, where I am in the British Isles. Every single map has two letters in all four corners. Those two letters represent where you are on the national grid, so on this occasion, I'm in SS858416. Bingo. For more map reading skills, click on the button down on the bottom right. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. That way we'll let you know what's new on the channel.